I'm a pretty optimistic rah-rah guy, but when we look back at the last 15 years, it's exceeded everything that we thought the impact that it could have. Parkview Field, 15 years later, September 11th, 2008. The new ballpark, downtown Fort Wayne, still under construction, and a press conference announces it will be called Parkview Field. Tonight, Wayne 15's Alyssa Ivinson has a look back 15 years ago and what the Parkview partnership is today. This is the view from home plate 15 years ago from what we now know as Parkview Field. And 15 years ago today was the announcement of those naming rights. So we gathered all the players together once again to talk about what makes Parkview Field what it is today. Everybody, welcome to Parkview Field. September 11, 2008, Wayne 15 covered the press conference announcing Parkview Health would be a big part of the new downtown ballpark. Anytime we spend uh, money outside of direct patient care, we really, really look at that decision carefully. But uh, we got really excited about it very quickly. Parkview Health pays $300,000 a year for naming rights. Half that money goes into maintaining the ballpark. Ten years from now, it will look the same or even better than it does now. So now, 15 years later? I think it looks better than it did. <laughs> Wayne 15 sat down with Mayor Tom Henry, Tin Cap's owner Jason Fryer, Tin Cap's president Mike Nutter, and retired Parkview Health CEO Mike Packnett, who say the partnership is even better than they'd hoped. The incredible thing here is that we're 15 years in and everybody is still working as well together and is, is as well aligned, and I think you know that's a big the reason that this continues to be successful and that, you know, as I walk around downtown Fort Wayne now, it looks nothing like downtown Fort Wayne looked like 15 years ago. The residual effect of having Parkview Field here, when Parkview Field was first built, we only had one hotel. Now we have four downtown and there's talk of a fifth. I cannot believe that Parkview Field itself wasn't an intricate part of all of that. We're so glad that we were able to make the investment and then just to, to see our name on something that's that's so excellent. The decision 15 years ago didn't come lightly. We were at a real uh, inflection point, I would say, in our community. And as the largest employer, our board has, has always been involved with economic development. And this project, uh, and it, as Mayor said, it proved to be true, but it was going to be the um, catalytic project so that for the next 15 years, Mayor, I don't know if there's been a day where we haven't had a tower crane working downtown. It was more of a risk not to do this and for us not to, to do the naming rights than to do it. You know, this stadium could have failed and if so, it would reflect it on Parkview as well. Uh, they, there, was a, there was a lot of risk involved. A group like Parkview stepping up and somebody like Mike Packnett stepping up just added to the credibility of what we were doing down here. Even the people who were doubting before start to seriously consider whether this was gonna work. You know, what's really interesting now is how many people come up to us and say, I was wrong. You know, we, we didn't think it was, would work. I didn't think personally it would work, but Mayor, I was, I was wrong and you made a believer out of me. The word pride is so important. We talked about ourselves differently in 2006 and 7 than we do today. And I think when you have something that's best in class and you're proud of it and it brings the community together and it brings that pride level up significantly. And I think that's one of the greatest things uh, that we've experienced from Parkview Field. Fort Wayne has a swagger now it didn't have 15 years ago. I was going to use that same word. <laughs> I really was because my kids have used that with me and we used to talk about the same time frame he was talking about. There were so many articles about the brain drain and how do we get them back here and how do we do that. And I have a freshman and sophomore in college. You can hear them like actually say, man, it'd be a great place to come back here. And that's what I think makes us feel great about, hey, not just the ballpark, but with the Parkview and the city's leadership, like, we're doing some good things around here. Less than a month later, again, 15 years ago, on October 2nd, 2008, came the announcement the new team would be called the Tin Caps. Opening day at the new ballpark, April 16th, 
2009. Now, since then, Parkview Field has been named best ballpark more than a dozen times, including most recently from Stadium Journey. That one happened just over the weekend.